Hello to everyone. Welcome to watch our SECB2523 database project presentation video. We are students from Section A and we are from Group Among Us. My name is Chong Li Ling and other group members are Go Zhou Yi, Yu Ka Wei and Eng Mei Hui. The topic of our database project is Student Community Based Transport Service in UTM. And the title is Hasta Car Rental System. Let us start to know this new system. This is our system introduction. Hasta Car Rental Shop is a car rental shop in UTM School Dai Joho. These are the purpose of Hasta database system. This is our logical entity relationship ERD for the proposed system. Let me introduce the new database system. The database system stores the information of staff, customers, car, booking, and payment. For the entity of car, the database stores the information such as car plate number as the primary key, category, brand, model, number of seat, color, cost, status, and rental price. The participation and disjoint constraints for the car is optional and. Under the car, there are two entities, which are rental car and return car. For the rental car, the database stores the information such as pickup location, rental date, and rental time. For the return car, the database stores the information which are return location, return date, and return time. For the entity of customer, the database stores the information such as IC number as the primary key, first name, last name, email, phone number, license number, and the date register. The participation and disjoint constraints for the customer is mandatory or under the customer, there are two entities, which are student and UTM staff. For the student, the database stores the information such as metric ID as the primary key, cost, faculty, and year. For the UTM staff, the database stores the information such as staff ID as the primary key and position. For the entity of booking, the database stores the information such as booking number as the primary key, booking status, booking date, number of hours for booking, and grand total. For the entity of staff, the database stores the information such as staff ID as the primary key, staff name, position, sex, date of birth, and salary. For the entity of payment, the information that is stored in the database are transaction number as the primary key, payment status, payment date, payment amount. So for the business rule, a customer can do one to many process for booking and payment. A booking requires one to many process. A payment also requires one to many process. A staff can approve zero to many booking and a car is required by zero to one booking and these are our final of normalized relation in voice code normalization form VCNF. next my group member joy will explain about the sql demo so now here is my turn my name is ko joy i'm going to explain the sql demo First, we have created seven tables, and so here is all the SQL code, and we are going to run, and I'm going to explain the SQL query. First, we have table queries. So we select all from the seven table, and here is the result for the seven tables. For the first query, we display all the available cars, set the status to white, and we know that we insert 10 car information and 3 car are ran, so here is the available car left. The next query is are going to display the car in ascending order by rental price. So we select all the information that we want from the car table and here we use order by rental price. Since we know the SQL will definitely set the order by in ascending order so we don't need to declare it again. So here is the result. 
The next query is about to display the arrival car with rental price between 10 to 15. So it need to fulfill two condition, which is status is equal to Y and also rental price between 10 and 15. To display the available car to rent and the rental price between 10 to 15. So here is the result. For the next one, it's going to display the available car filtered by brand with Prodra, Honda or Toyota. So we are going to use N and also O to select the information that we want from the car tables. Set the status to Y and in a column, we set brand equal to Prodra or brand equal to Honda or brand equal to Toyota. So here is the result. Next, we are going to display the booking detail with booking number and also a car plate number. So here we are going to use the attribute in three tables which include booking with alien B, car with no alien and also the rental return car with alien R. We also set the booking number and also the car plate number in the car table and also the rental return car table. Next, we are going to use full join function to book to display the booking details with customer IC. So here consists also three table process, booking and payment. So we full join all these three table on its attributes and set IC number to 991212011234. Next, we are going to display the booking detail responsible by staff A03. Since we know that we assign every booking to a staff to enable the staff to review and confirm the booking, so we full join three tables which are booking, car rental, return car, and set the staff ID in the booking table to A03. So here is the result. Now we are going to display the payment detail responsible by staff A03. So it consists five tables which are payment, process, booking, car and customer student. And set the staff ID in the booking table to A03. And so here is the payment details responsible by the staff A03. Next, we are going to confirm the receipt and now consists of six tables. The only exceptional tables are customer staff because here is the confirmed receipt for the customer student. We select all the information that we want and full join all the tables together on its attributes and set the customer IC number and we also set the booking status and the payment status to true because we is for the confirmed receipt. Next, we are going to display the number of booking based on the car plate number. So we are going to use count to calculate the number of booking number exists in the booking table grouped by the car plate number. So here is the result. Next, we are going to display the highest amount in the booking. So we are going to use max in the query. And here is the result, which is 381 and 60 cents. So next is used to display the three letters booking in the booking table. So here we select row number as letters top three booking and booking number and also booking debt. We select it from the booking tables with the attribute booking number and the booking debt and order by the descending order of the booking debt. We also set the row number which is smaller and equal to three to make sure it is only three rows selected. So here is the top three result. And next we are going to display the daily payment detail and it consists of the payment and the process in a joint together and the payment data are set to system debt. And here is the result. Next, which is also similar to the previous one, but now is display the daily sales from the booking and the car table in a joint together. So we also set the booking debt to the system debt. And here is the result for the today daily sales. Next, we are going to display the transaction number by using the first name of the customer. So it consists of the process and the customer student table in a joint together and also set the customer student with the first name equal to sponge. And here, we found that the transaction number by the customer with first name sponge is 2. And lastly, we are going to calculate the daily sales and the daily sales include the total and the grand total. So to calculate the total, we multiply the rental price in car table and the number of hours in booking tables. For the grand total, we add more 6% for the SST and here is a calculation for the grand total. We also create the tables for the daily sales and also a table for the monthly sales. For the monthly sales table, we are going to extract the year and the month 
from the booking date by sum out for the number of booking and sum out of the number of booking grand total so here is the result Make sure that for the monthly sales it consists of booking year which is 21 which means 2021 20, years and the month, booking month is 1 which means January and the total number of booking is 3 and, and the grand total of all of the booking in the month so that's all for our SQL thank you